Hey everyone, returning to episode 2 on Dragons, Dawn of New Riders. In the last video, what happened was we found somebody named Scribbler. And unfortunately, he lost his memory and we have this new dragon here named Patch. Which is a three element dragon, crossbreed dragon. And it's pretty cool. So now we're going to find out what the dragon roar is about. So, you know, Hiccup thought or I guess Hiccup and Astrid heard this dragon roar, right? And they went out looking for this dragon. And unfortunately, what happened was Gobber told Hiccup to go home. And now we left Scribbler on the island, on Haven home. And now we're going to set out and find out what this dragon roar is about. So as you can see, it says, find the roaring dragon. And, you know, I guess the where it's circled is where we are. And we went to the right side last time. No, actually, no. We're going to go towards the right side. Two, three maps. And then we're going to go up three maps. And then we're going to go left. I know my memory is fuzzy, but I'm pretty sure I can't can't walk on water, Patch. Hmm. Hang on a minute. Maybe you could freeze this water with your ice breath. So we're going to go up or, you know, we're going to grab the chest and we got to go right once more and then we're going to go north. In combat, Baby Patch will be ignored by Dragon Trappers as his attacks are too weak to be a threat. If Scribbler is knocked out by the Trappers, Baby Patch will be captured. Oh boy, we're looking uglier than I expected. Now we're supposed to go north. Unfortunately, I can't go north. Because I think in order to go north, you have to go up. Through the mountain. And that don't look good. So I'm going to go right. And then we will go north. Oh! I totally forgot there was traps. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but let's heal. Hmm. <laughs> 
All right, so here's the big thing. How do we get across? Uh. Hmm, that's a big tree, Patch. Hmm. I bet it would make a pretty strong bridge. You know what what is this sheep? What does it do? Alright, so there's two ways to go. Oh yeah, this is bad. Okay, I don't know what that is, but Oh I'm sorry, Patch. Hold! I wouldn't take another step if I were you. My natter never misses and neither do I. Hi. Wait! We mean no harm! Uh -huh. Are you telling me you didn't have anything to do with the forest fire on Havenholm? Uh -huh. Far from it! But Patch, that is my Chimerigan hatchling, scared those trapper away. <gasps> Chimera what? <laughs> It's a long story. I'm Scribbler. I'm guessing you're Astrid? <laughs> ah, I see you've met my babbler mouth boyfriend, Hiccup. Stand down, Stormfly. These two are friends. Even though I'm pretty sure she, she wouldn't have that voice when she's saying it. It would be like, Stand down, Stormfly. These two are friends. That's good to hear. <laughs> well, as your new friend, let me offer some assistance. I can see you've been collecting herbs. How about a trade? Some of your herbs were a few of my toxins. <laughs> Tonics. Sounds good. Now you can approach Astrid and press... Yeah, trade with her. Alright. So... Oh, <laughs> All right, we just healed again. But we're getting closer to the dragon roar. You may have noticed, like, 
the shake has become heavier. It's strange, Patch. This place feels familiar to me, even though I don't remember being here before. It's the same with you, Patch. I feel like we've met before, but how can that be when you're only just when you've only just hatched? I feel like my memories are starting to return, but they're fuzzy. I think I've been a scholar my whole life. But then, then there's an image of a pale man arriving on our island in an odd ship. One that seemed better suited for the skies than seas. Hmm. I'm sure he had a large dragon with him. Could that be the titan wing those trappers are looking for? I wonder where it is now. All right, there's two ways to go, to go right or left. Left is where the dragon is. I guess I might as well, I mean, left, yeah, left is where the dragon is. Right is where, I don't know. Oh, hey, there's a box down there. So there's only one way to go, my bad. Oh, there's a huge ship there. Yeah. Uh. 
All right, that's pretty bad. I mean, once I fall down, I can't get back up there. Careful, Patch. He doesn't look friendly. Uh. I know my memories are foggy, but I don't remember seeing those orbs on other dragons before. Hey. Look, Patch. Whatever they are filled with seem to be leaking some kind of gas. Uh. Maybe if we destroy those orbs, it will calm down. Free dragons by destroying the orbs attached to them. Once all orbs are destroyed, the dragons will break free of their control. So we saved the red deadly natter. And that's about it. There's That same roar again. It sounded like it came from inside these ruins. There's only one way to find out. 